Let's take a look at the start list now. Our 16 fastest Ironman in the country in lane one is Max Beattie from Surfers Paradise, Joe Collins from Northcliffe, Bailey Johns from Burley Heads Mowbray Park, Ben Carberry from Corumban, Jack O'Borg from Newport, Kai Kinsella from Burley Heads Mowbray Park. So plenty of spit, swim pace on that side of the line. Cooper Williams from Alex Headland, he blitzed his semi. Archie Vernon from Surfers Paradise, Thomas Scott from Northcliffe, Zach Morris from Newport, Matt Bevilacqua from Northcliffe, Alistair Day from Surfers Paradise, the defending champion. He'll be looking to add another title to his name. Jared McDonald from Burley Heads Mowbray Park. Texas Dixon from Surfers. Corey Taylor from Northcliffe. And Corey Fletcher from Burley Heads Mowbray Park. What a quality field you'd expect, nonetheless, here of the Open Ironman final. Obviously, a few omissions as well of Matt Poole and, and Kendrick Louie. But what a field. Now, this goes back to 1966 of Hayden Kenny, one inaugural event. And the 1980 was that of Grant Kenny win the June and senior double and the list that can go on and on Shannon Eckstein eight times Australian Kai Hurst four times as well the quality who will put their name in the history books will it be Ali Day going back to back obviously won his first Ironman title last year there was a bit of relief from the win last year as well to finally tick that box now going in a little bit composed as well this is going to be a great battle Cooper Williams won semi-final number one CT Corey Taylor semi-final number two one thing I know of interest the order this year is the same as last year. Swim, board and ski. Will we see the same result? Well, we may well. Ali Day is going to put on the burners in this opening swim leg. All of our athletes are. It will be a furious drag race towards that first can. Everyone wants to get around it first. There's Ali Day, the man with the title to his name at the moment. Yeah, the man in the moment. Seven times cool and got a gold champion. Four times Nutri-Grain and... Uh, just gone through so composed obviously your dad now and uh and uh, little danny and uh doing a great thing as the father figure and a great role on he's a great human obviously grew up in the south coast here of kiama was a power really bad point as a nipper coming through the ranks look at the composure going through his mind before going through some serious pain i love these these emotions coming through he knows what it means to be a part of the start line of australian open ironman title but the quality that surrounds him as well, right next to him, Matt Bevilacqua, one to look out for. And while we go, CT, Corey Fletcher there as well, Corey Taylor. Oh, he has a little look over his shoulder, doesn't he? He looks to his right there, Ali Day, and says, who's coming round? They decide to go a little bit to the right, similar to Georgia Miller. Yeah, that's exactly right. And it paid dividends to Georgia Miller as well. So we will watch with interest how that unfolds for the swimmers who ran to the south. But at the moment, that pace is evenly spread across the line. Zach Morris on screen. He is a furious swimmer. He has taken off in this inner gutter. This is nothing but raw speed from the young man of Zach Morris. Look at him go at the moment from that of the other yellow with the Maroons as well. Cooper Williams to me the yellow caps. Look out for Morris. Look out for that of Cooper Williams. The big question is once they get up and get going, Ali Doe will make his move. Very similar to Georgia Miller around the cans. But how far back will he be from Williams and that of Morris? And how much will we get caught up in the pack coming around the cans? We can see a lot of water moving across this bank at the moment as well. So that's making it really hard work for our leaders. But now they're starting to reach that clear water. It looks as though Zach Morris is out in front on the right. Cooper Williams again. I could see that cap from Alex on the left. Kai Kinsella not far behind. Yeah, I don't know if it's uh, Kai Kinsella. Yeah, it is Kai Kinsella, but totally up there as well. No, Bailey Johns is two Burley Cups there. But look at Zach Morris going to town at the moment in the first swim lead. And we also see a few of the uh, the service paradise, the Max Beattie up there in the mix as well, and Archie Vernon there. Now, this is the impact of the sweep from right to left. Now, how much past the can? They're actually, to me, past the can already. This becomes advantage of the right-hand side of Ali Day and Matt Bevilacqua. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see just where these packs meet because Zach Morris is leading the right at the moment, but the left side seemed to get the best goal of it not running down as far. It's going to be a collision, a pile-up on this first turning can, and it's going to be physical as well. You want to get around nice and clean. as Cooper Williams, I think, snuck up on the inside. Oh, what a phenomenal swimmer he is. He brings the burners out. Cooper Williams goes around one. We'll try and pick up two. Kai Kinsella there goes around with Zach Morris as well. Kai Kinsella won the Queensland State Championships last Last year in 2021. Oh, the Argy Bargy on Cam 1. I love it. UFC in the water. Yeah, it looked as though Benny Carberry might be in about fourth place at the moment too. What a unit he is. There's no pushing Benny out of the way around the cans. A strong swimmer, but look for him on that last ski leg as well. Kinsella now making the move up to Williams. So the big question is, where is Ali Day? Where is Matt Bevilacqua? We know they'll come to the fore in reference to the craft of board and ski, but they need to be close enough. In this pack, these young boys get away nice and early. They'll take some catching. Well, especially Zach Morris. He's been leading off Newport's 
previously Australian champion board relay team so far throughout the Aussies. So he is in great touch on the board. He wants to be on that lead wave after this swim. All right, we have a look now. I can see that of Ali Day back in sixth position at the moment, tucked in behind there. So leaders in front. There's Ali with the no goals. Ben Carberry for the mighty Vikings there as well. But it's all Cooper Williams in one. Zach Morris right behind him. Carberry. Now tell you what, if Carberry comes close enough with the board, with the ski leg last, he's had a great summer to date as well. Ben Carberry, look out him for the move and the groove as well. Look at Ali Day. Starts to find his way through like a true champion. And Benny Carberry making a move as well. But will the leaders be able to get away? There's something building for Kai Kinsella. Kai Kinsella is one of the best surf athletes going around, if not Australia, in the world. He picks up anything in the ocean, and he's, I tell you what, he's rocks and diamonds. He can be a diamond one week, he could be a rock the next week, it looks like a diamond. Cooper Williams, what about this for body surfing exhibition? Williams, 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 Williams. Oh, big effort from Cooper Williams. But it will be interesting to see just how far that brought him through the gutter. Zach Morris of Newport was also on that wave, but he didn't seem to get it as far as Williams. Yes, in fact, it's Williams who did get it the furthest. So every little metre he milked out of that wave is now about to pay off. Now let's think about it. Remember Taylor Halliday picked up the win as well. In now there from Alex and then gone through. But look at this. It now comes along to Cooper Williams. He gives every opportunity. If he can sneak out here on the board, he'll take some catching. Williams comes around one. Kai can sell her. What a swim for the boy from Burley Heads Mobile Park. Where is Ali Day? Where is Ali Day and Matt Bevelakba? To me, they will make the huge moves right now on the board leg. Well, Regardless of where they are, it's a sizable gap to third. This is a golden opportunity for Williams to kick clear of his rivals. Yeah, Kai kinsella has got some work to do. He's not, to be honest, he's in his strength of the swim. Ali Day now, he's very, very close. Ali Day, who makes some big moves. Obviously, we've got Zach Morris on the right-hand side there. So at the moment, as they go into water, and we can see uh, Joey Collins up in the mix as well, but it's Cooper Williams from Alexander Headlands. Can he get through this short break unscathed? Well, we're about to find out. He pops over one wave. Now there's a smaller one standing up. He sits and waits for it to break. Oh, just sneaks through. He just sneaks through and he's out and about in the green water. But the big question is, have the others been held up? We'll try and pan out and see where Ali Day is. He may have had a clean run. Ali Day on the right-hand side. Williams now goes to work on the board. Where's Ali Day? Ali goes over one. This next wave, will he get hit? Ali Day's now out as well. There we go, Carvery. So we go that to uh, Bevelacqua. Where has Bevelacqua come from? Well, Matt Bevelacqua has nailed that break with perfection because he has now come up right into second, it looks like, and with the better line back onto the can. I love this. Very similar to what happened with George and Miller up on the, the inside of BMT Northlift. Oh, you've got to work back here, Bev. He's been pushed now under the can. He'll come back. One, Cooper Williams. Two, Kai Kinsella. Bevelacqua and Ali Day. For me, pound for pound on the ski. They are the two in form in the top five. With Carberry coming around as well. Oh, this is a great Australian Open Ironman title. It's Cooper Williams, Alexander Headlands in one. Kai Kinsella, he's still in there. Position two, but look out for the move of Bevelacqua and Day. Well, these waves could have something to say about it at the moment too. They're not going to break into the gutter, but they are going to stand up for a runner. And Cooper Williams looks as though he's digging deep. He went a little bit sharp there as he came into that can to try and chase that. Kai Kinsella moving up as well, but now Williams responds. And look at him put in the big strokes. This is master here from Cooper Williams. Watch Bevelacqua. He motors his board like no one else in the ocean at the moment. Bevelacqua, Kai Kinsella got to turn around. Turn around, Kinsella. Cooper Williams is on. Williams is on. One leg to go for an Open Ironman title. That is a godsend of a way for Cooper Williams. Not only is he going to take him to the beach in first place, it's going to give him a massive rest as well. Could not agree more. The opportunity to rest his legs. Look at him counting his chickens at the moment. One leg to go to be Australian Open Ironman champion. Cooper Williams, two legs down. But look at the chase pack. Bevelacqua, to me, is the danger man. The big danger man with Ali Day. And we'll have to wait and see what just happened on that way because there, there's Ali Day, he shot down over the top of the last second, and he's within striking distance of this man, our leader, Cooper Williams from Alexandra Headland. Cooper Williams, all these ski sessions throughout the year, over the years as well, gripping in, digging deep, every session counts, come to this, one ski leg to sketch your name in the history books of Open Ironman Racing and the Aussie titles, Ali Day comes around too. Look out for Ali Day and Bevy, the big movers, I believe, with Zach Morris in this leg. Well, Zach Morris sneaking 
sinking on, in on a different line to his rivals. He was missed by the cameras there, Zach. He made the open semi-finals of the ski, so he can paddle around the cans as well. Cooper's got to get going. Now, advantage here, Ali Day. Massive transition from Ali Day. Got on his craft, got his boat moving. Look at this. Second from the left, Ali Day. Bevelak was got to go. Ali Day has put the burners on. Very similar to Lana Rogers. Williams, he's sort of stagnant at the moment. Labouring a little bit. Ali Day looks in strong form. He popped over that first wave nicely. There is one standing up. So Cooper Williams and Ali Day are putting on the burners. Will oh, they Ali, get underneath? Ali, Ali. Oh, just sneaks through Ali Day. But Cooper Williams, advantage Williams, trying to get the craft going. Look at him trying to dig deep. Oh, I think it's the fitness. To me, it's the fitness of Ali Day. Look at him, composure. Just pulls up on the inside. Cooper Williams got to go with him, but this is the Ali Day show. Well, Williams just looked over his right shoulder as Day came past. He needs to stay on the side of his ski. That will give him a slight rest, holding on to the wake of the boat. But you can see Ali Day wind up his stroke rate as well. He raced in the ski relay final against the premier paddlers in the country, and he came in on the lead wave. But there is one more twist he has to negotiate. This back bank, look at these waves. Yeah, a couple of waves building at the moment, but this is the endurance base of Ali Day. Obviously, seven times cooling out a gold champion, four times neutral grain as well. Really comes the endurance base, where Cooper Williams is more of a sprinter. What's out the back here for Day? He needs to get through this one. Little bit of punch for Day. Little bit of work to do for Day. Will this be... Oh, Day hits up and over. What's next? Where's Bevilacqua? Bevilacqua, Day. Day might get out. He might get out this one. He might get out left side, left side. Day's out. He is gone. It is good night, Ali Day. Wow, that is crucial for Ali to have gotten over the top of that one. The right-hand side of the field was starting to come through, led by Zach Morris and Ben Carberry, but they were checked by that wave once again. So Ali Day has it all his own way at the moment. This is exactly where he wants to be. I tell you what, he goes through the processes. He does this to perfection, Ali Day. He's not there yet, but I tell you what, with half a leg to go, what a moment. He picked up his first Australian Championship last year, looking to go back to back at the moment. You are almost there, half a leg to go. I love how he sized up the waves. He looks to his left. He knows he's got to get on his last can. He'll put the spinnaker up, hopefully pick up a nice wave and ride to glory. Well, he could be on this wave right here. This could be the Australian title delivered. He starts to drop down at his nose lowers, and he is. Ali Day now needs to hold on to defend his Australian title. That is pure masterclass from the great man Ali Day. What a moment. What a moment when we look at the modern era of Iron Person Racing. I know we talk about the goats and the greats of last of past years, but what he has performed coming back from the adversity of injury, Ali Day, what a moment. He's not there to finish off over the gutter, but that's pure execution. He was up there in the swim leg. He made his move the board, but it was the ski leg. What about the battle for second? The carbonator. What a season he's had for the mighty Vikings up against that of Zach Morris. And the chase back there for fourth. Joey Collins, Bevelacqua, Kai Kinsella in the mix as well, but way out in front. Now, class above, Ali Day, the man, the moment from Surface Paradise, SP Love, masterclass performance. A tricky little wave here on the shore. It's his last hurdle. He has to negotiate. It now catches up to him, and that is the Australian title sealed. Ali Day will hold on to his crown as the best Iron Man in Australia. What a performance back to back 2021 to now. Look at the battle here for second place. The smell is on the dial. The handler comes over. Oh, what about this? Enjoy the moment. You deserve it. And we see Finn Askey there handing high fives to Max Beatty as well. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, our 2022 Aussies champion, Open Ironman champion from Service Paradise, Ali Day. What a dominant performance from Ali Day. No wonder he's so happy. Now the race is on for silver. It's Ben Carberry who's going to take it out. Matt Bevilacqua coming around for third. Or will there be a late twist? Joey no, Joe Collins. Collins. Joey Collins, the young bull from BMD Northcliffe. What, what a race. Was, what a result from Joe Collins. He was hidden from the camera as he ran up the beach. He will walk away with the bronze medal. Matt Bevilacqua looked as though he finished in fourth. Oh, I tell you what, Ali Day superstar absolute superstar to go through neutral grain last year season four last undefeated this year i say he would have been undefeated if it wasn't for the surf condition we had but to come out for the cool and gutter goals seven cool and gutter goals neutral grain series he's picked up the triple count as well what a performance absolute superstar and also to me more importantly 
Such a great role model, great humans. Re replay here, the Open Ironman final. And it was all Cooper Williams. What a, didn't he put it on the line? He, he threw every card on the table and said, I'm in this. He certainly didn't die wondering Cooper Williams. He attacked that transition as well. He got through the break here. Matt Bevelak with a big move. That brought Ali Day back into it. Day, the Australian board champion, just coming off a run there. We can see him behind Cooper Williams getting a crucial wave. But this was the moment. You called it at the time. Ali Day attacked the transition. He attacked this inner shore break. And then he... Look at that. That wasn't that close. Managing to duck underneath. But the fact that Ali got over this wave was the difference. It was only a ski length. It became a can length. 50 metres he led by around those cans. He held on to that wave. And then he wrote his place in history with back-to-back -back titles. Oh, look at that. Look at the excitement. The smile. He knows what it means to him as well. Ali Day. We head down now the beach with Candice, with our champion. I'm just trying to find Ali Day. He's crossed the line and he's just um, run into the crowd somewhere. So we are trying to find him. Um, <laughs> he ran very far. I found him. I found him. <laughs> All right. We... All right, well, well, let's just walk. I'm here with Ali. Ali, that's that's two Ironman titles in a row. Oh, I can't believe it. That one, I just had a Trevor Hendy there, and obviously, arguably along with him, him and Shannon, I mean, you could go on all day who's the greatest, but he said to me, you got to find different ways to win, and I didn't have a great swim. I was sort of up there in the board, and I guess just fought the whole way through to the end in the ski, and when those sets were coming, I was like, please, let me get out, and I think I just snuck through the teeth and one, and everyone still sort of got hit. I had one look and got round, got that one wave, and I was like, just hold this ski straight, hey, hold this ski straight. But two in a row, and I won the board title earlier, not to a big note myself, but this is epic. This is the best. So you've won seven Coolangatta Golds, four Ironman series, but is it the Australian title that means the most to you? Oh, they're just so hard to win. Like, so many good guys missed out in the semifinals, and to win, you just got to be good for 12 minutes or however long that race took on a Sunday afternoon in April. You know, the Ironman series got six cracks out of the gold. I've got four hours. It's taken me a long time to get this race perfect, and by no means was that perfect. But, um, yeah, just, just stoked. Huge, huge shout-out to Sean Partners, Earl and Alan at home, Nutri-Grain, all my, all my major partners. I couldn't do it without them. As soon as you crossed the line, you, you, you bolted off, and we had to try and find you. Was that to share that moment with your wife and your son? Yeah, 100%. I, just want, I never really get to see him after races uh, in, in that moment. And I think I said to you when the Ironman series is on that, they're the ones that literally allow me to go to training, go to bed early. She goes and gets Danny, takes him on a walk, and this week she's been incredible, so phenomenal. So I just wanted to share that moment because, yeah, I went out and did it, but we did it as a team. Oh, that's so well said. So you've won the board today. You've won the iron. Taplin next? Oh, I'd love that. I mean, I'd retire if I won the Taplin. <laughs> oh, there we have. There's a scoop. I never win there. It was just, if we, if, we win, if we get up there in the Taplin, I'll be happy. Well, congratulations. I'll let you go. Phenomenal effort. Thanks, Ken. Cheers, guys. Oh, what a performance. Back-to-back, -back, Ali Day. And what a